I'm a spirits and cocktails geek. I started a few years ago basically because um, I work with alcohol and I'm really passionate about alcohol. I wanted to, I suppose, get a link back to a time when people used to entertain at home and I came across a beautiful um, artillery shell shaker and I thought it was the most fantastic thing ever and I wanted to own one. It breaks down like this. Inside the base here, we have a, a silver tray with, uh, with four glasses. It opens up. Ice, ingredients, whiskey, etc. in here. Strainers are built in here. And after shaking, you then take the top off and strain into whatever glass that you're using. I picked up a couple at uh, some local, local uh, secondhand stores or antique stores here in Sydney. And it's very difficult to find anything um, these days. So yeah, a few shops here and there and, and, and a fair bit online. We got shakers back to 1880s, um, 1880s, 1890s. The first sort of shakers came from that era. And they probably go right up until the um, 50s, 60s. The shakers are, I suppose, unlike a, a art or many other things, they're, they're, they're tools that you use to make drinks and they're in the hands of people that are drinking alcohol. <laughs> so, so, you know, <laughs> a lot of them are dented and scratched. So to have great condition shakers at 100 years old, um, it's very rare to find. If you go back sort of before 1830, a lot of the spirits that were made were punches and whatnot, which was again about masking flavors. 1830, we had the invention that was called a column distillation, which allowed you to make purer spirits and better spirits. And from then on, we got this cocktail culture of, of really bringing out the flavor of the raw material of the spirit that you're using. And then with prohibition, it was back into, back into hiding it. We're going in waves and now, um, you know, we have more spirits, better spirits than we've ever had before. I think that's one of the reasons why we're bringing back this classic cocktail culture. This is a, a blimp or a Zeppelin shaker from Germany, um, made in oh, about 1925, 1928. Um, and it's a, um, a travelling uh, cocktail shaker. If you want to use this shaker, put your gin, vodka, ingredients in there with the ice. Now the strainer is built into the handle, of course the bell as well. Screw it tight, shake it like we just did, unscrew the top, and strain into the glass that we're using in. Cheers, your drink's ready. This is, amongst collectors, probably the holy grail of cocktail shakers. It's called a skyscraper shaker. Um, it's got the beautiful little ribs here. It's made by Revere. Um, the designer was Norman Bell Getz, who's a very famous designer. A complete set of this, 15,000 US dollars online with a tray and, and the glasses. This really is what we all would love to own. You get a glass of beer, it's nothing exciting about that. You might as well be sitting in front of the TV watching a footy, you know? Well, uh, when you're celebrating, someone's shaking up something behind the bar, they put into a glass, a beautiful garnish, like flame and orange zest, and it brings occasion, you know, to, 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 to what you're doing. It's, uh, it's, uh, it marks something special, and I think that cocktails do that as well. Oh yeah, cheers.